Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the first of hopefully many daily rewinds here at HN. So I'm your host, Josh. On the weekends, it will be hosted by Michael, who will do kind of like a weekly rewind. And basically the whole purpose of this is to help stay on top of all the news that comes out every single day. So instead of having to watch three different videos to find out the news that happened periodically, we just do one. So today, the first thing we're going to cover is the Joker. So the Joker starring Joaquin Phoenix actually did very well, surpassing a lot of expectations, breaking some records as well. So it got $96 million in its opening day with domestic, at least with $236.5 million over the entire weekend, not including China. And this is a big deal because Venom, when that came out, was supposed to be like a really big thing for the genre, a really big movie in its own right. And that got 80 million domestic versus the 90 something that the Joker got. So all things considered, definitely a big part of the plans for Warner Brothers is to make more DC black movies, you know, just low budget movies, doing creatively different things with certain characters that are well known to fans to make things more marketable, of course, but also keep the cost down to make more profit. So I'm not really surprised this movie did so well. And getting into actually more of that, Joaquin Phoenix himself doing an interview said the following, you know, I wouldn't have thought about this as my dream role, but now, honestly, I can't stop thinking about it. I talked to Todd a lot and what else we might be able to do in general just to work together but also specifically if there's something else we can do with Joker that might be interesting. So it ended up being a dream role. It's nothing that I really wanted to do prior to working on this movie. I don't know if there is more to do. Me and Todd probably still, you know, they'd be, we'd be shooting around right now if we could, right? Because it seems endless, the possibilities of where you can go with the character. So based on Phoenix's words, it really does sound like he's open to doing some sort of sequel if the right story comes along, which would be pretty cool to see. I think both for the fans, but also if they want to do, again, one of those multiple origin story kind of things for the Joker, considering even Phillips himself during an interview said the ending is open to interpretation with regards to what actually happened throughout the movie and what may just be a part of the Joker's crazy psyche. Now, getting on to another piece of news. Now, Spider-Man Far From Home came out in DVD and home release with a bunch of bonus features, interviews, commentaries, things of that nature. And producer Amy Pascal, previously of Sony, did flat out say that the villains are basically building to Sinister Six when she says, and I quote, these villains are now These villains we now have in our universe happen to be characters that are in the Sinister Six. There may be something that happens with that. So that would be really interesting. We know Sony has wanted to do a Sinister Six movie for years now. At one point, Drew Goddard was attached to the project, and he may come back to it in the future if they kind of re-greenlight it with the actors that have appeared, such as Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio, Michael Keaton as Vulture, and so on and so on. And it'll be really cool to see what we actually do get, because out of the many Sinister Six incarnations, so far we do have castings for the following members. We have casting for Chameleon, technically, with Dimitri, Vulture, Shocker, the Tinkerer, Scorpion, could be happening in the future, Mysterio with Jake Gyllenhaal, and potentially in the future as well, we could get Doc Ock and Kraven the Hunter, probably not Sandman because we already had the Elementals in Spider-Man Far From Home, although they technically still could do it because, you know, why not, right? But yeah, it'd be really cool to see what they do with that. For me personally, I would love to see the Sinister Six. I've always been a huge fan of them and the different combinations with Spider-Man's rogues gallery because Spider-Man, just like Batman, has one of the richest rogues galleries in all of fiction. Now, getting on to our last news story for the day, Christopher Eccleston basically said he'd be down to come back as Malekith in a future Thor movie if he were to be asked. And his direct words are the following. I understand that some people love that particular film, and some of you actually like Malekith the Naughty Elf, as he called it. So that's my only experience within it, but I know that people love the film, and I accept that, and I'm careful about that. I'm so diplomatic these days. He also adds that he thinks Thor Ragnarok was very well done, brilliantly written, 
as he says as well. And probably the success of Thor Ragnarok and the confirmation of Thor Love and Thunder, I wouldn't be surprised if that played a part. And I wouldn't be surprised if he does return in some capacity, whether it's a flashback or if Taika just decides, you know, whatever, I'm just going to put it in there. Considering Malekith is a very popular character these days, thanks to Jason Aaron, recently really getting him involved with a lot of Thor things, including him cutting off Thor's arm, which may or may not happen, and Thor Love and Thunder, that is yet to be seen. But leave your comments down below, what do you guys think about this, which news story today is your favorite, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching our video, if you guys liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and consider filling out the survey in the description below. It's just some stuff for us to find out ways we can better make our content, whether it's the lighting, the camera, you know, the audio, the video, whatever it may be. We want to make the best content possible for you guys here at HN. So just fill out the survey if you have a chance. Let us know. Put in the comments things we can improve upon. And we hope you guys liked the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you guys would like to see next time. And we'll see you guys later.